Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host. Happy to be joined by today by some really good friends. I'm Greg. I'm Trey. I'm Andrew. All right, today we are bringing y'all Formosa Tea, designed by Chu Lang Kao and published by SoSo -So Studio. Uh, Taiwan Board Game Design, in conjunction with SoSo -So Studio, also very kindly provided us with this review copy of the game, which allowed us to bring it to y'all tonight. Picked it up from Spiel 2019. So a big thanks to Smooks over at TBD for helping make all of this happen. So welcome everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. Before we get started, big thanks to all of our patrons who helped make all of this possible, three of which are sitting beside me, as well as a special shout out to Kevin uh, Bertram. Uh, say thanks for being a patron and choosing to support the show. Quick reminder, if you do enjoy what we do here at Heavy Cardboard, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. That helps. Give it a thumb, maybe. And if you want to get us ever so closer to the fabled 800 patrons, you can go over to pledgehc.com, support the show there annually or monthly. Uh, I say fabled 800 because when we get to 800, we add a camera to all of this, which uh, upgrades the studio that much more and makes the presentation to y'all that much better. So, without further ado, foremost, a T. Um, I will say three of us have played this. Uh, some of us have played it multiple times. One of us has not. I'll let you guys try and figure out who that is. <laughs> uh, that said, it's it's actually really uh, really well themed and very streamlined worker placement recipe fulfillment game. Anything? Any other mechanisms? I'm really uh, forgetting on this. I would say worker placement or action selection recipe fulfillment. Yeah, go with that. I think that works. Plus, <laughs> again, it's tea. So, kind of suits as far as I'm concerned. So, if y'all are ready, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. hopefully y'all are ready, let's get into Formosa Tea. Let me bring down the camera and the chat and everything, and then we will get started. So, here we go. With several mountain ranges, subtropical temperatures, and ample rainfall, the natural conditions in Taiwan, or Formosa, Make it ideal for cultivating teas of the finest quality in Formosa Tea. Players are tea farm owners who strive for the most prestige <coughs> victory points by harvesting the best tea leaves, upgrading their tea processing technology, and developing both domestic and international markets. With unique worker placement and worker advancement me mechanisms tied thematically to tea production, Players must allocate their resources wisely to develop their tea's reputation and become the most prestigious tea farm owner in Formosa. All right, so what are y'all looking at here? Well, we have the main game board here with victory point track, round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Then starting over in the top left-hand corner, we have the weather tiles. This basically dictates how wet the tea that we harvest is going to be, depending on which column it comes from. Then down below that, we have the tea plantation area. There are three types of tea. There are black tea, or the brown cubes. There are green tea, which, wait for it, green cubes. And the oolong tea, or the orange tea. Orange, oolong, kind of works. Black, brown, it works. So go with it. Now, below those are flower bud discs of the three different types of tea as shown. So again, orange, green, or brown discs for the three different types of tea. Now, moving over to the right from there, we have the tea processing tracks for the three different types of tea. At the top, we have the oolong. Notice it has kind of a a orangish color here for the oolong. Down below that we have the black tea with the brown tea leaves there. And then we have the green tea there. Then there is an associated tech tree for each of the three uh, manufacturing um, processing tracks there. Then below that we have the scented tea processing track down here as well as this whole area there. Then down on the bottom left hand side we have the global tea market and the domestic tea market which is this track right there. Then off board we have a number of things. Over on the far left hand side we have the merchant card market so the various that's the recipe fulfillment area uh, as it were. Then up above we have the historical event cards or round tracking for the four different rounds that we're going to have. We have the special action discs 
over here, and off camera, we have the uh, random mystery bag of tea cubes. Now, in our player tableau, normally I would zoom in, and you know what? Let's go ahead and do that regardless, all right? So over here in our player tableau, as you see, these are symmetric player boards. And over on the left-hand side here is the basket. Depending on how wet the tea leaves are when we harvest them, they're going to go whether they're a two wetness, one wetness, or bone dry tea. And you can have a maximum of six as shown up here in the top left-hand corner between the three baskets. So six cubes total. Then moving over to the center part of our player boards, we have the various tea factories where the tea leaves will go for oolong, black tea, or green, depending on how wet they are, and then as they get flavored, moving over to those areas there. Then we have the warehouse, which is going to be sorted by the quality of the processed tea, meaning we have crappy tea, fine tea, or I'm sorry, fine or you know standard tea if you will and then exceptional tea over here in the right hand side there then we have the scented tea factory down below and I also should point out that every player has a total of four workers now you'll notice the shapes of the worker are different we have two tea farmers and two tea masters basically tea masters well, they're masters, they can do any job, whereas tea farmers can do anything but work in the factories for the processing themselves, okay? So that's pretty much everything that you're looking at here on the, as far as component-wise, and there's a first player marker, and I thought it was thematic, so we'll go ahead and keep it and use that for today. Now, as an overview of what you're trying to do here in Formosa Tea, the goal a Formosa T is to score the most victory points. There's considerable scoring during the game and then some scoring at the end of game, which is at the end of the fourth round in a four player game. Then players move into final scoring and players are going to predominantly or entirely get victory points from claiming merchant cards. And again, that's kind of the recipe fulfillment aspect of the game. Selling to the domestic market, the victory points as shown where they are at the top of those. Then creating scented teas to convert immediately into victory points based on this chart right here, then advancing along the tech tracks for various types of tea based upon which merchant cards the player has completed. So you'll see that there are certain victory point spots on the various tracks up here that actually make the cards that you've completed during the game worth additional points at the end of the game, and possibly from historical events or these cards up here at the end of the game. And then whoever has the most points wins. So big picture, what you're going to be doing in Formosa Tea is you're going to be placing your workers out here to harvest tea out into these locations. Then you're going to use some of the other workers to come into these processing areas to then process the tea from it being just harvested in your basket into your factory here and using the drying that goes along with the various types getting over to this space. When you're here, then you're going to actually take it from your factories and put it into your warehouse. And then from your warehouse, you're either going to sell it domestically, meaning just discard it back into the bag, or globally completing some or some, possibly only the rightmost row of cards but possibly any of the available cards or using turning tea that is here in your warehouse into scented tea to then convert into victory points so big picture that's kind of what you're going to be doing or what we're going to be doing over the course of four rounds whoever does that best at the end of those four rounds wins the game so big picture does that make sense mm -hmm. yep all right so with that said how do you play Formosa T? Well, as I mentioned, the game takes place over four rounds, and each round will consist of multiple player turns, and a round ends when each player has used all of their workers. Now, there is, just because you've placed all four of your workers doesn't mean you've used all of your workers. There may be a way in which you're going to be able to retrieve one or more of your workers on a given turn so that you might be able to take more than four actions 
in a given turn, but we'll get into that here in a little bit. So you have four workers, you're going to be placing them out here on the board during the worker action phase, and then at the end of all of that, there's a preparation phase for the next round, rinse and repeat, do that four times, go into final scoring. So the first thing that you can do on your turn is harvest tea and advance on the tea processing track. So first things first, as I mentioned, you have two different types of workers. The farmers can only go out onto the actual plantation discs themselves or to the four markets to be able to sell their tea. Easy enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. The masters can do all of that and in addition they can come out here to the four different processing tracks in addition to all of the things that the farmers can do. Okay. But that said, you're going to take one of your workers, or as an option, I should say, you can go out onto one of these plantation tiles. So for instance, I choose to come out, say, out into, onto that tile. I have a choice. I can either take all of one type of tea, meaning all the orange, all the green, or all the black tea, or one of each. Well, in this case, obviously, one of each. Whereas, if I went down to here, I would be able to take all of the black tea. Or if maybe I want a green, maybe I take all of the green there. However, in addition to doing so, you're going to then, if you clear off all of the tea that is on that tile, you're going to claim that scented tile as well. So going back to the example, let's say here, you're going to, um, or I am going to take all of this tea here. Now look up above at the weather tile. Now the weather tile shows it is extraordinarily wet tea. So that has to go into the two bucket or basket here because it has a two weather on it. Whereas this one does as well. That one go is bone dry, it's is zero. And that one's mediocre in the one. So I will have done so like that. I'm allowed a total of six cubes over in my baskets total, but you'll notice there is no tea left. So in addition to that, I'm going to claim the scented tea or the flower disc. In addition to that, boom, done. Any questions on that action? Nope. If I had chosen this one instead, everything would go into the one like that. Obviously I'm only limit, I'm limited to six. If I, on a subsequent turn, wanted to come out here and I wanted to choose uh, more tea. I cannot claim all of it. I can only claim one because I have five here, so maybe I do something along the lines of like so. Okay? All right? So that's taking the actual tea out there and putting it into your basket. Well, in addition to that, if there are any workers of any player in any of these locations on any of the tea processing tracks, they then advance automatically one of two ways. They either automatically advance to the end regardless of where they are in the track, but they skip all the actions that they jumped over. Or if they wish, they then can advance however many tier or how many uh, farmers or masters are out in the field at the end of that action. So let me give you an example. So let's say, and let's do a little manipulation here. There. Let's say I had taken that action there. And on a previous action, Andrew already had placed one of his tea masters up there to process some amount of tea. We'll get into the details of that in a little bit. At the end of my action, how many workers are out here? There is one out in that row of fields. So therefore, Andrew has a choice. He could either advance all the way to the end there, skipping those other actions, or he could advance the same number of spaces as there are tea workers in the field or tea farmers in the field, and then carry out each and every action that he either passed or landed on. So for instance, if then maybe Greg comes out here and puts his work on a subsequent turn, then Andrew has the same option. He could make it all the way to the end, skipping everything, or there's now two workers, he would go one, two, and he would do both this action and that action because both what he passed over and what he ended on. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, so that is taking T from out here and then automatically advancing each and every uh, worker or, or tea master that is in the associated tea processing plant. Any questions on that action whatsoever? Nope. nope. Easy enough. So we will manipulate Oops. that back if you guys can help. There we go. All right. 
So now let's go ahead and let's say on a subsequent turn, and you know what, I'm going to redo this. I realize I should have kept it there. So maybe <laughs> I've done that. On a subsequent turn, I choose to process my tea. So I have some tea over here in my baskets and I wish to process it. So you know what, we're actually gonna bring it over here so you guys can see that a little bit clearer. So on a subsequent turn, I take one of my tea masters and I say, hey, I want to go ahead and process black tea. So the black tea area is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. So what happens here is first off there are four tracks as I mentioned there is oolong there's black there's green so if I'm processing black tea then I would put my worker on the black tea processing track easy enough so what I do here is uh, after I've placed my tea master out there I take all of the associated tea and put it into the factory for that type of tea oolong black or green so this being the two wet or the numero, number two wetness and number one wetness. You cannot leave tea of that type behind. You process everything that you have there. So in this case, I have three tea cubes in two and one tea cube of one there. Easy enough, right? Yep. Any questions on that step so far? Nope. 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 Then after I've done that, then I'm going to activate and do whatever the action, the associated action is. And actually, what we'll do is we'll go over all of the associated actions between the three main processing. We're going to double back onto the scented tea at the very end because that actually does something once it's completely processed with further processing. Okay. So in this location, when I placed here, this says I automatically dry one wetness worth of drying. So what does that mean? Well, that means I can either drop one cube down from a one to a zero or a two to a one. Easy enough. So let's say I choose to do something along the lines of that. Boom, done, easy enough. When I advance to this area here, this says I can take one cube in the one wetness area and put it into Flavor Town. What does that mean? Well, each of the three factories has a flavoring area. So in other words, the one wetness whoop, moves over like so when I get to that location. This one is the exact same as this, except it must be come from the two wetness area, meaning whoop, like that, easy enough. Now, what if I did not have any two wetness. I could not do one or two of these to move over. That's not how this works. It says specifically from the two wetness area over to the flavor area. So in that case, it would be something like that when I get to this area. Then finally, here, exactly like these from the zero area, except you can do that up to twice. So you'll notice I don't have any. Wah, wah. So I'm, unfortunately, I don't get to do that. Okay. Easy enough when you activate those. And you'll notice that these are uh, somewhat different here, whereas on the oolong, you dry one. On this one, you dry two total, meaning you either dry one from a two to a zero or two from, say, a two to a one, and then a one to a zero. However, you mix and match two steps of drying on that. One from a uh, wetness one to flavor town, to just like this one that is identical and all of these we've already covered so easy enough for all of those tea processing steps there right yeah. mm -hmm. any questions on that nope. in addition to that when you have started processing there's a handy dandy little chart up here that shows that you're going to depending on the number of cubes that you put over here so again let's say it were something i think it was like this from the moment I move them from my basket over here, which that happened as soon as I put my worker there, depending on whether I did at least three or as many as five, possibly more, but you get credit for three and five respectively, you then get to advance along the tea, uh, tra uh, processing tech track. So I moved over four cubes. Well, that's higher than three, less than five, so I get one technology bump along that track. Boom, done. When you cross one of these thresholds here, something is go you're either going to claim something or it's going to activate endgame scoring. So all of these discs out here, 
have associated discs as you can see here. And we'll go over those very briefly. The green ones are one-time use. When you use them, you use them when you choose to, and they do something immediately. This one allows you to immediately sell at the global market, but we'll go into that here in a little bit. This one here allows you to not only advance one step on the drying, but then you get to do whatever spot you did twice. So if you, this one you would be able to do four times because you get to do it twice, twice. Make sense? So when you expend those, when you use that action as an anytime action on your turn, you then replace it back to the supply. Whereas these guys out here, the yellow ones are extra special because you get to keep them like luggage. You get to keep them forever. And in addition to that, they go into specific slots, you'll notice, into your factories. You have two slots for each and they are temporarily installed in your factories, okay? So for instance, if I had already advanced here and I got one of these, maybe when I move my T over, when I processed it, I already had that and so that technology bump allowed me to get that and I choose to install it. What that means is you immediately get to do whatever it says. So not only do I get to activate this, but I, in addition, get to do that. So this says I can do that, and I get to drop down one for the activation space on what I, where I went. Now, if I had two of those, I could install two of them. If I had a mix and match, so for instance, if I had this one installed as well, I would also be able to do that immediately as a one-time thing. Now, I did say that you keep these forever. However, when you install them in a factory, they are there throughout the entire process until all of this tea makes it into your warehouse. Once it makes it into your warehouse, then you just kind of reset it and keep it over here and you can reuse it whenever you move from your basket into one of your choice of factories. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, so let's go over what these are. Although, I'll be honest, I think you guys at home can figure out what all of these four do since they actually coincide with the other actions during the actual processing. So moving from two wetness to flavor town, one wetness to flavor town, two in zero to flavor town, and two steps of drying, meaning I could take that all the way down or I could go one in one, something like that. Okay? Which I realize is the exact same equivalent, but I <laughs> work with me on that. All right. So, that is advancing along these tracks. Now, these spots right here are for endgame scoring. Normally, whenever you activate or whenever you claim one of those merchant cards, you score it immediately, which I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but that's it. However, at the end of the game, if you have eclipsed any of these spaces, depending on the type of card it is shown in the top left-hand corner there, if I, for instance, had claimed that top corner one right there, you'll notice that this one here shows, if I have advanced my technology all the way to here, that shows that black tea merchant cards are worth three points at the end of the game. Meaning this here will be worth an additional three points in addition to whatever I've scored down here during the game. Easy enough, right? Yep. All right, so that takes care of processing the tea along these tracks. Any questions on that? Nope. Now, if somebody had gone out here, then on a subsequent turn, and maybe Greg comes out there, he claims that those two, at the end of that action, what happens? Everybody that's along this advances how many steps? One step, because there's one worker out here. So I would either advance here, which then immediately goes whoop, there as the action, or in lieu of that, I could just go there to where I'll be able to move it over into my warehouse at my leisure, okay? All right, so that is the T processing step, or option, as it were. All right, any questions on any of that? Nope, nope. All right, I think I've covered the disks pretty well at that point, but now let's go ahead and talk about T completion. So. Let's say on Greg's turn, he took his tea there, and I choose not to do any of these steps, and I choose to just advance to go. I'm making a joke there, but <laughs> I advance all the way to the tea completion step, okay? 
So I said, on your turn, you're going to be placing out one of your workers, yada, yada, yada. Well, there is one exception to that, and that exception is, on your turn, if you have a worker out here in any of the four completion places, you may, in lieu of placing a worker, you can retrieve that worker to then complete the processing of that type of, the, uh, or of that associated type of T. So how do you do that? Well, on my turn, instead of placing a worker, and I could leave it out there and maybe do that as my last action, et cetera, et cetera, but I say, you know what, I'm going to take this guy back, which now means I'm going to finish processing all of my black T. So how does that look? Well, we look over here, and we look at our current status on our T, and we look at this handy dandy little chart up here in the top right hand corner. This says, if you have a total of three wetness or higher total between all of that batch of tea, that's crappy tea. So it will all go into the crappy tea area. Okay, it's poor quality. So you'll notice that in this case, by jumping all the way ahead and choosing to not either dry or to move it over to flavorings, I have crappy tea because it's three wetness. So in that case, all four of these tea go over there, boom, done. Okay? It's processed. I now that it's in my warehouse, I now can actually sell it or use it to actually score points, which is the goal of the game. However, advancing over here, let's say it doesn't, it's not three or more wet, but then you hoping it's exceptional tea. For it to be exceptional tea, it must be bone dry, meaning there can be no wetness, so it must be some amount of tea down in zero or no wetness total, and a minimum of two flavorings here. So in this case, it could be either that, it could be that, it could be that, all of that is bone dry tea and has at least two flavorings. In that case, it is exceptional quality, or as I like to call it, Edwards tea. So <laughs> we then move all of it over here. But then we have to look at this. How many flavorings were there? If there were at least three, you immediately score three, six, 10, or 15 points respectively, depending on how many flavorings. Well, obviously, I only have four cubes, so it couldn't have been more than six points worth, but you get the idea. If it were only two, it's zero points, but it's exceptional quality. That'll come in handy here in a little bit. Well, at that point, let's say it were something along the lines of like so. So it's not at least three wet, it's not bone dry in two flavorings, it's a little bit wet, meaning it's standard tea, right? It's Bigelow, it's Celestial Seasoning, it's, you know, something like that. It's not the loose leaf that you get online from, from high-end dealers. No, this is the stuff you buy, maybe, well, you get the idea. All right, so it's just normal tea, right? Yeah. So in other words, all of this, it doesn't matter if it doesn't meet one of those two criteria, it's just standard regular tea and it would go there. There can be, a, a, uh, there can be all types in all of them. It, just because there's black tea here doesn't mean there can't be green tea here later, et cetera, et cetera. There is no minimum to the number of tea that you can process at any one time, meaning one cube to a maximum of six cubes, obviously, because that's all you can have in your basket. I do want to point out, however, once you have started processing tea, you cannot process the same type of tea again, meaning you can't add to that later on once you've already started that processing step. Now I could start a different type of tea at the same time, that's legit, but you can't do two of the same because they're individual batches, all right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yep. All right, then if I, when I processed all of my tea, okay, let's be realistic, it's gonna be exceptional. Uh, <laughs> once I have done so, then these then unlock to then be able to be reused later on, okay? Does that make sense? Yep. yep. All right, easy enough. So now we have some tea in our warehouse. So on a subsequent turn, I now notice I have an additional worker. Or let's say on a previous turn, maybe I'd come out here, I'd gotten some tea. I had no workers left. Normally when you're out of workers, you must pass. However, if you have somebody out here in lieu of passing, you can then retrieve that worker to then finish processing and, oh, hey, look at that, I still can take another action. So that is how you can take additional actions on your turn, or on, in a given round, I should say. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, all right. All right, so 
I'm your turn, but let's say I had some workers left out here. I then can choose to sell to the various markets. So we'll start with the domestic market. So when I come out here, I can choose to use either a tea farmer or a tea master. And these, all of these spaces out here, there's no limit to the number of workers. There is no limit to the number of different workers, of players that can be out here. However, out here in the farms or in the plantations, one worker per location per year. Now, there is one small exception to that, and that is if I have placed there, I cannot place another worker of mine in that location. I can do that, that's legit, and Greg could come over here and do that, that's legit but it's one worker per location per player for these four locations. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So let's start out with the domestic market. The domestic market says, hey, you're gonna sell to the domestic market, or as we like to call it, the bag. And depending on what kind you sell or what mix and match you sell dictates how many spaces you advance on that track. So if you sell Three cube or two cubes, you advance two steps. If you advance, if you sell three cubes, you advance three steps. Easy enough. If you land on any of these locations that uh, provide some sort of bonus, you immediately do that bonus. So let's say I choose to sell two of these. They go back into the bag. I advance two spaces on this, and then I immediately get a track, a tech track bonus or bump on one of the three tech tracks. Which one, you might ask? Follow your heart. Choose any one that you wish. So I may choose this one, I might choose that one, I might choose that one, however I wish to mix and match. Once you've reached a space on this track, you will never go backwards, you will only advance forward, and you're going to score victory points at the end of the game based on where you are. Any questions on that? And the two and three cubes that you give up, if it's two, it's the same, if it's three, it's three different. Correct, right, meaning two of the same, meaning two brown, what I could not do is sell three to advance three. They must be three different types. I do want to point that out. Thanks for reminding me, Shrey. All right, any questions on domestic market? Nope. Okay, and notice it does not matter the quality. So getting rid of your cheap quality tea this way is probably a pretty good use of it. Now the international market or the global market, there are three different locations and each one conveys a different bonus, although the actual function of it works the same. Whether I'm here, here, or here, I get to complete one of those contracts out there on the far right edge only. Then, so let's go back, hand me that card. Let's say, hey, I'm gonna choose this one to complete. So getting back to my example earlier, I had exceptional quality tea. So we look over here, the exceptional quality tea, it would require me to get rid of two of those, back to the bag, so okay, I will do so, and I pay 10 points immediately. If it were mediocre or standard quality, I would pay six points. If it's crappy quality, I score six points. However, you'll notice that little icon right there says, oh, if it's crappy quality, you get the six points, but you do not get to keep the card. Meaning, okay, I completed it, I score the points, and I get rid of the card. It goes out of the game. The reason for that, as I mentioned earlier, there might be some in-game points here, there might be something up here for the events up there. Easy enough? Yep. Now, last thing I want to point out is if it were something along the lines of this, because from two different batches of tea, if I choose, or maybe I only have that, if I choose to do this and this, it's the lowest quality denominator, meaning it's crappy tea. So, meaning I score six points and I can't keep the card because I diminish the quality of this exceptional tea with the crappy quality. Make sense? Yep. All right. Easy enough? That is here. In addition to that, I get to advance one on the tech track. Which tech track? Follow your heart. Any one that you want. One space. This one, complete one card, and I should say that those immediately will slide and refill. So there, and then we would take the next card. Now those are numbered into three different kind of phases, if you will. There is a level one card, a level two card, and a level three card. They get to be a little bit more involved, but also generate more points as you go along. 
All of these are level one cards, except for this one is a level two. Then there's the level twos. When the twos run out, we refill with threes, etc., etc. This one, you get to complete one card from the right hand side only, or right or the right uh, column, and then you immediately advance on one of the tracks and then activate it twice, just like the special ability of that one. Okay? It, you get to complete one card on the right hand edge and then immediately, as if you had used another worker, claim one of the locations out here, but you actually don't put your worker out there. You just take it. So if I went there, so maybe I want those two oolongs and those will come from the one wetness area, those will join up there, boom, done. That's what that gets allows me to do. If I had emptied that, I would be able to claim the scented tile or the, uh, the flower pod for the scented uh, tea later on. Any questions on that? Yeah, uh, does that action push the workers along the processing as well? Um, that is a really good question. I don't think it I does. do not believe so because it does not actually put a worker up to that. Yeah, I don't think it does. And without spending a worker, so it does not say in the rules that it does, so I would say no. Okay. Okay? All right. There is another way in which you'll be able to sell to the global market, and that is by using one of these tiles that has the little ship or boat on it. And that, those tiles are exceptionally powerful. And the reason for that is if at any point you have one of these, claim say there, there, or there, it's a one-time use. You act as if you had taken one of these spaces, but you don't get the bonus. But what you do get to do is sell to any of the 12 cards that are out there. So it's only via these can you sell to anything other than the right-hand edge. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And then when you choose to do that on your turn, you then discard it back to the supply. That's pretty much the entire game except for the scented tea. All right. So scented tea works a little bit different. So let's say we have some crappy tea up here. And let's say we have, we have, those have been claimed. Here we go. So I have a couple of scented tea tiles there, and I have some tea over here in a warehouse already, all right? On my turn, I say, hey, I'm gonna send one of my tea masters to the scented tile area. So what happens at this point is just like going over here, I'm going to take the, t the tea that is in the area that I choose and put it down like so. Then in addition to that, you'll notice that I can choose to place one flower pod or flower tile onto the scented tea, uh, tea area. You'll notice that there are indentations or little places where you could put three different, three different tiles. So let's say I choose to do that. Then someone comes up here and claims one of these, which again, as always, pushes my worker over. So then maybe I choose to put a second one. And I can do that up to three times because there are three spaces up here, okay? Now I do want to note that those flower tiles are one time use and then they're out of the game once you use them. But then somebody comes up here, puts another worker, so now I advance all the way to here. So on a subsequent turn, I then choose to remove that worker to then process that T just like I would normally, except this step is a little bit different because it's scented T. So what this says, is I get two points or a multiplier of two for each same color flower pod tile that matches the T. So same color, same color times two, different color times one. So what does that mean? I have four T here. I have one of each. This is times two, this is times one. So total, that'd be times three, four times three, that'd be 12 points. So I immediately get rid of these out of the game. These go back into the bag, like so, and I immediately would score the 12 points. And I advance one on one of the tech tracks of my choice. 
boom, that's scented tea. Any questions on that? Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a second step, but you're either going to use scented tea, domestic market, global market, or global market plus once your tea has been processed, okay? So that we're going to continue taking actions until all of us have passed. Once a player's passed, they're out. Then we go into the preparation phase. The preparation phase is pretty simple. So first off, advance the tea processing track. Well, if somebody had workers up here, how many workers? We then do this again. So here, one, like so, and then would do the action in the location where you remained, okay? Easy enough? All right, and if, if, I, if there were two here, right. in this case. Then he would go two and only do the action in the last spot that you landed as opposed to during the round, you would do every spot that you actually landed on or passed. Easy enough? Yeah. All right. The next one is we're going to resolve the historical event card. So these were randomly chosen out there. There's a deck of historical random cards out there. There's a whole bunch of them. And the, the, they go chronologically. So this is the, in our uh, world here, this is how the process went for this game. So it starts in 1867 and ends in 1964. We will do whatever the event is, and we'll talk about those uh, before we get started so everybody can plan accordingly on that. Then we'll get rid of the card unless it's an end game scoring card and then everybody retrieves their workers back. So there you go. Then we're going to adjust the weather tiles. Adjusting the weather tiles means we're going to slide down and flip one of the tiles over so it's going to be a continual conveyor of changing weather as we go along. Then we're going to have growth of new tea. We're going to put down one new cube up to a total of three, unless it's exceptionally wet, which, hey, extra wetness, extra growth, you put down two up to a total of three cubes total. And then pass the start player marker, rinse and repeat, do that four times, and then we go into final scoring. So final scoring is we're going to score victory points for any of the domestic market. We're going to score victory points, any merchant cards. So in this case, I would score any black tea three points per card in addition to any scoring that I did. So in other words, I would score three additional points for this card because I have passed the three point. If I were all the way to here, I would score six points for that, easy enough. And then score any points from end of game cards. Whoever has most points wins. And that's how you play Formosa T. There we go. So we need to reset the disaster that I created. I have no idea how these were. I do. Okay, awesome. There's that, there's that, and maybe there. Uh, like Christopher is saying that uh, when you make scented tea, the tech track you move up on is... Oh, correct. On. Is the type of tea that you processed. Yeah. So in the example I use black tea, I would actually advance on the black tea track. Thank you, Christopher. Good call. All right. Cool. Any questions on any of that? Nope. All right, so I think uh, I think we're ready to start. Now, full disclosure, Andrew's the one who hasn't played. <laughs> so what I think we will do, we do you guys want a schwazi? You know what, it's easy enough. Andrew's a smart cat. Yeah, we'll schwazi it up. <laughs> I'll be fine. You know there we go. All right. You know Andrew's going to win now, right? Right, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's how this goes. I think yeah. we all have a shot. <laughs> it's just as in here tonight. So, well, all right. Uh, ready? All right, well, there we go. All right, so let me bring up the cameras and chat and make sure chat is all the way advanced. There we go. Uh, by the way, Matt, thank you for the $5 donation earlier at the very beginning of the chat or of the stream. I appreciate that. Um, we're all drinking uh, tea. I don't know what type. I'm actually, thanks to Shrey, he br actually brought some loosely Formosa tea. I've never had Formosa tea before. Yeah, it's same. It's actually pretty good. It's nice really good. Like it's tea. really yeah. It's a very light, uh, not terribly fragrant, but just good green tea. Really nice. Yeah. Delicate, I think. Over under on Glory to Realms, we'll set it. This is a pretty tame group. Oh, you think five? No. Four of them will be from me. <laughs> Four and a half it is. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 there's, right. there's an important timing thing that I think uh, 
should be pointed out that once you pass, you've passed. Right. You cannot retrieve a worker once right. you have passed. So you need to, if you want to take any extra action, it has to be down here and retrieve as your action. That is important to point out. Uh, one other thing. There is an advanced game. So there are two things uh, in the advanced game. First off, you actually take T. You draft T from here for the two. We actually just took, uh, we were playing the basic game. And the second thing is there are these historical characters that uh, create an asymmetric start or and an a, or not an asymmetric start, but an asymmetric, um, like kind of a railroading direction that you should maybe focus on. Those of us that have played this a handful of times, I think it would be fine to play with them. I don't think it necessarily is important to play with them, so we're not doing so tonight, yeah. all right? Oh, do you want to go over the uh, events? Oh, yeah, we probably should. So uh, I actually have them printed off here, so give me a year. 1867. All right, it's the export of Oolong Tea to Macau by John Dodd. So discard one Oolong Tea Cube from your warehouse and then gain two victory points and advance one space on the Oolong T technology track. So in other words, make sure that you have one orange cube here by the end of the first year mm -hmm. if it's important enough for you to do that. Okay? All right. 1868. 1868 is the establishment of the Oolong T refinery. Uh, advance one space on both the Oolong T processing track and the Oolong T technology track as well. So, early on, it's telling us to focus on Oolong Tea. Mm -hmm. And again, these were randomly chosen. The next one? 1903. The establishment of the Tea Research Center. At the end of, well, so this one's a little bit confusing because the rules aren't super clear. How we're going to uh, play this is when this happens, advance one step on any track of your choice. Then, at the end of the game, score one victory point for every two spaces advanced across all of your T-Technology tracks combined. So, notice these have numbers, so if I were at 5, 4, and 5, that'd be 14 divided by 2, 7 points for me. Okay? 1964. It is the introduction and localization of Yubukita green tea. At the end of the round, the player or players with the most fulfilled merchant cards that demand green tea specifically score five points. Mm. All right? Okay. Cool. All right. So, Andrew, it is your honor, sir. <sighs> Begin. All right. Well, the game is saying make oolong tea, so I will go here and get some oolong cubes. <clears throat> and those will go onto the super dry. Mm -hmm. There you go. Probably makes the most sense. That's probably the optimal move, I think. And by the way, uh, during setup, Shrey, did you see anything for uh, players? Uh, you use fewer discs out here, I think. No, 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 I'm saying turn order wise. Was oh, there anything no, no, there that, there, there, there's no, nothing for no, turn order, nothing, correct? Nothing for turn order. Okay, all right, just wanted to make sure. All right. <sighs> oh yeah, your first player, there yeah. you go. Got that pretty disc in front of me. Well, oh, yeah, because it rotates. Every every turn or every round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess uh, I guess the game is pushing us towards oolong, right? Yep. So, well, and green. Yeah, green will matter eventually. Eventually, right? Let's see. That's four, five, six. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm good with that. So I will take that. That's on one wetness. So those will go into that basket. Boom, done. Yeah, I think if I started with a green cube, I would go for green tea. Oh, but I don't want to get the witness. Yeah. And legitimately, these were randomly put out there. I did. I didn't do anything um, to manipulate it. Uh, oh, this would be more interesting. Nope, nothing. That's how. It, this is how it ended up. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do something different. Yep. I will take the uh, all of one type. All of one type. Yeah. It's very wet tea, but it's three of them, and I get the scent tape, tape scent uh, disc. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send one of my tea masters into the Yulong factory. Uh, so these are going in here, and one will drop down one wetness. And then you get a tech bump because it's yes. three. Right. So. Because it was three tea processed, so mm -hmm. yep. one tech bump. <clears throat> You know, I could just make crappy tea. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. I did I did crush in my last game of this though, and made nothing but exceptional tea all game. But I feel like these are kind of pushing me towards just making sure that I get tea made in some form or fashion. Um what I would like to do is I would like to actually go up to one of those to be able to get two oolong. It would help Andrew along, sort of. Uh, but it would also help me at the end of the round. But um, unfortunately, the game's not really cooperating with that. So you know what I will do? Oh, you know what? I stand corrected. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take you, one you, of each. You can't take all. I cannot, because <laughs> I have four. Mm-hmm. Ah, um, all right, fine. <clears throat> I'll still do that. So I get this on the super dry. So that's all six of mine. Mm. But now, at the end of my turn, there is one. So this will advance either to there or all the way to there. So Andrew has a choice to make because... If he advances all the way, it's super dry, which is awesome, but he has no flavorings, which means it's still just mediocre tea. Yeah, but it'll be done. <laughs> but it will be done. <laughs> um, yeah, no. we'll, we'll, we'll just move up one space. Okay, so he gets the dry two steps worth. Well, it's all dry. Yeah. Boom, that's where I want to go. Well, it's the first one. And uh, that puts me up on a tech tree because I'm processing three of them. And you get to dry one, one step. And I... Oh goodness, there's no good option. All right. Yes, and I will start the this black tea processing. So these three will go over here, and this one will go there. Mm -hmm. So I, it's four, so I get a, what color kind of blue? I get a tech bump there, and, um, and I get to push one down. Um, Double check. Yeah. I'll just push this down to here. No, I should push. Uh, no, I'll push it. I don't think it's going to. I think I'm going to have to accept this will be for me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Miguel's right. Life's too short to be drinking crappy tea. I agree. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks, Matt, for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Matt's poking fun for my lack of not tying ability in the uh, build with heavy cardboard in which we built that card holder over there. Nice. Oh. I did go and order a couple for myself. Oh, did you? One for a gift and one for myself. Yeah. Nice. I really enjoyed that far more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was going to be way harder putting that together. Yeah. And it actually went really, really smoothly. And it turned out really good. I could have actually used it because it's 12 um, for this, but I thought, eh, I feel like that'd be a bit shoehorning mm -hmm. um, because it's a dynamic market. I didn't yeah. want to mess with it. So, but you'll see it on stream for sure. Uh, all right, we'll go here. Get these green cubes. So they are two wetness, um, and I will push up two spaces. Two spaces. So one, two. So you're going to get to do both of those. Right. First one doesn't matter for me, but right. the second one matters a fair amount. Th there you go. And then black gets. Two drying steps and then to there. Hmm. I'm wondering if it's worth it because I'm not going to get exceptional tea, but I'm going to get stuck with crappy tea. Or let me back it up. Or could choose to go to move it all the way to the end. I apologize. Yeah. Because it would be more efficient to have my turns go faster, but also, what do I do with crappy tea? <laughs> Domestic market. Less points over at the global market or scented tea, depending on what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, realistically, those are the three main point <laughs> generating things, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they really yeah. are amazing, Matt. Let's push levers. Oh, I don't process it yet. Uh, put me to the end. Boop. Mm -hmm. All right. So now. Wait. That, oh, that was, was Andrew's. It turn. was. Sorry. That so happened. there. So I will process all of this, so we will go three wet there, 
And I did that, so white's going to bump up a step as well, and I get one drying. Whoop. Done. Okay, I will send... Um, I, yeah, I will do this. I will take the oolong from here. And it's a... Oh, it's, oh, it's too wet. I should have... Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. And then I push along twice, and I, I think we ex we we said that we we're gonna t be happy with crappy too. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, I would move one over and then one over. Yeah, it's correct, gonna, Matt. It's crappy too. Yeah, no matter crappy what. unless I get a disc that lets me push something down. It's gonna. It, I'm not. I need something extra than just these to get to yeah. normal. But so, you need two bumps on a tech tree to get that. Um. Correct. So I will skip right to the end. Okay. Mm. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait. We spit. We skipped, skipped Greg's turn. Yeah. Sorry. Did I oh. Do? Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm, my turn's not affected. Uh, and I have crappy tea. There oh. you go. Congrats on your crappy tea. Woo! I don't know who's <laughs> drinking that crap. Well, yeah. nobody. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I think the domestic market might be drinking it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so now it's Andrew's turn. Yeah, this feels like a waste, but um, I think I need to use this to farm. Well, if you farm, pushing it to where your guy is at the end possibly gets you an extra action this round. Yeah, I think that's the thing. But it also helps Edward. I mean, what can you do? Like... <laughs> We can cooperate, it'll be fine. Um, all I right. do appreciate it. So we'll go on this one. So these go in the one basket. And that's going to push my guy all the way to here. And, and get I get three, three steps. One, two, three. So let me look at this and see whether or not I want to. So a two drying doesn't help. One coming over here, and then both of those coming over here. You know what that's not? That's not exceptional tea. Mm. It is close, but you know what that is? That's mediocre tea. So I'm going to skip it all, and I'm going to come over here. Boom, done. So I'm not going to do any of those steps. Uh, so then, you know what? For my turn, I will there and get my... It's fine. It's the low end of the loose leaf stuff. I'm okay with that. Done. Greg? Greg? Masala tea. I don't know what that is. See, I'm thinking the chai tea would be the scented tea, like that type stuff. That's how I'm picturing the scented tea being represented in this game, is like your flavored teas, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's why you can send crappy tea to... Right, be because it's flavored. You're, you're, yeah. you're covering up the flavor so it doesn't really matter the quality of the tea. I'm going to come here, grab some green tea. And three bumps, but there's nobody there. Boom, done. Uh, I will send this tea master out to process oolong. So it's two, one, and then I will drop this down to there. And you uh, bump up right here. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I'm going to retrieve him. So I've got zero wetness and two flavor. So that's a fantastic oolong. It is. It's not quite point generating worthy, but that's all right. Yeah, it is. It is. It's you get. Oh no, you only had two. Only I two. apologize. Yes. You're right. <laughs> but still good tea. It's still really good quality tea. All right. Well. Um. I'm going, I'm looking at green, so let's go ahead. I th uh, actually, I could claim, oh. <laughs> I could claim like one of these with the scented tile, right? But you know what? Let's stay on target. Get to two green. It's too wet. Boom, done. Yeah, I think I want... Ooh, that's rough. Tea in scented tea is tea that is infused with scent. Okay. 
Okay, so with added not. spices. So so it's not spices added, it's a scent. So like give me an example of that, John. I think John said jasmine up above. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. It's scented with jasmine. Fanner. Okay. I, I could see that. Okay. I should have fanner jasmine tea. I like jasmine rice. I think. Mm. Yeah. I will take this. Potentially set me up for <laughs> later. Milk and tea, not cheese. You stirred too hard. Mm. <laughs> okay. I will process or finish the processing. Finish processing my black tea, and it is some mediocre. No, mediocre or crap? Oh, it's, it's crappy. crappy. It's crappy. It's crappy. Okay. It's, crappy. <laughs> it's, crappy. it's 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 the uh, yellow branded tea that we have over here in the states, which is right. particularly good. That's in my office, though. <laughs> it's free. Yeah, it's free. But right. no, I don't drink it anyway. Hmm. Chip, once again, the herd teaches me way more than just how to play a game. I appreciate y'all's expertise. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, a little too flowery. Soapy, almost. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Oh, man. This... I don't like this decision. Um, so while he's thinking, the first player, uh, how you're supposed to determine is whoever has most recently drank tea. Or is drinking tea right now. Oh. It's all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the randomness. So there you go. Well, right. I'm drinking two teas at once. Is that? As am I. Oh well. Then. I have a London fog over there, and I have some uh, some Formosa tea. We're gonna go here. So, uh, black tea. Black tea. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, green. I meant. Okay. Green. All right. My bad. No worries. Um, and okay. you get two steps of drying, <clears throat> sir. Yes. So sure. All right. It matters. And that gets you a tech bump. Yes. Agree. All right. I think I'm going to do similar. I think I go two. And a one and two. Oh, that works out. No, no. not quite. I need that or that disc. Well then. Because it will advance. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I think. Hmm. There's no green tea that is bone dry, is there? Nope. We've we've uh picked it dry. Yeah. But that fifth one is really nice, so oh, hold on. Vince better what? be joking about that. Creamy, really? Cheese tea. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, that's got to be a Chinese thing, Vince. I mean, Vince is in Hong Kong. Or, I, I, okay, so let me be clear. I realize with everything that's going on in Hong Kong, technically part of China, but not. So is that a Chinese thing? Is that a Hong Kong thing? I've never heard of cheese tea. That is, I'd try it. Creamier than cream cheese, so okay, the texture is, oh, it just, yeah, uh, I don't know. It looks like the imagine. head on a beer is right. not <laughs> appetizing description. John, that sounds bizarre, <laughs> I also want to try it. Mm. Vince, you need to win the drawing for Around <laughs> the World. Um, so you know what I think I will do, actually? is I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I think I go here. So I will choose those two, because I can grab one of each. I have four. This is one wetness there and there. So there's six. I think, I think I'm OK with that, I think. I'm going to process green tea. And I get one bump mm -hmm. on the green tea tech track. And you get two drying steps. I don't want to do that. I don't think I need to do that because. Oh, because, yeah, that way you'll have three. I yeah. got you. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, right. fair enough. And it is voluntary. You don't have to. Fair enough. Or, uh, I oh, 
Okay. AC Geek says, I'm from Hong Kong, but the cheese thing is from Taiwan. <laughs> I apologize. He's in Taiwan, not in Hong Kong. So thank you. My apologies. Okay. That's awesome to know. Okay. <laughs> According to the Washington Post, cheese tea is the latest Instagram-worthy food trend. Like, I, I'm fascinated by this. Like, this is awesome. Like, the, the level of knowledge that gets dropped from the peanut gallery is fantastic. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this. Because this disturbing. Is, this yeah. Is the thing to do. It's two, two T, and I will. I get four movement, which will be all the way to the yes, end. So two, one, two, one over, and then, and then two over. But it's really just one over. There we go. And, and then all the way over. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then we go to Andrew. I have to pass. I pass. Pass. And but yeah. Um, oh hey, looky here. <laughs> Somebody doesn't have to. Out. So this is one wetness and two flavor, so it is okay. standard okay tea. Uh, and now I have this worker, this delightful worker, which is going to, I need to do the, uh, yeah. So I will go to the domestic market and sell two, two very crappy <laughs> black tea. And that goes to the bag. And then because I did that, I get a single tech bump, which will be and it does not have to coordinate with what he... Yep. This one. And so that's a single one? Yep. Very nice. Yep. Thank you. And can install that later. Yep. All right. We are all done. So I want to make sure that we get all the steps for this. All right. So we are now in the preparation phase. So advance the tea processing track. So we start top to bottom. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Here... There's one here, so these guys will go, whoop, and they will both do that if they wish. Okay, <laughs> done. Okay, now resolve the historical event. So 1867, what is this one again? Export of oolong yeah. tea if you, you can sell uh, to Macau by John Dodd. Yes. Right. And you can sell one oolong for two points, and then oh. everybody gets a oolong oh. tech bump. Oh, don't mind if I do. So, wow, we're all prepared. Look at that, everybody scores two, which means nobody scores two. So we all, <laughs> we all get a tech bump, here. <laughs> which now gets a tech bump. So in turn order, starting with Andrew, um, in case this matters to folks. I will, so can I, I can bump up again the same track. You can, yeah, it's your choice. I will do, so I get this thing. So green is going to bump two anyways, for me. Um. So what I'm thinking is when I start processing this, I'm going to get two bumps on the green. Do I want to go ahead? Huh. Um, no, let's go short-sighted. I'm white, right? Yeah, yeah, do the same for me. Okay. And the black. Yeah. There's, there's too much here, too wetness. Um, oh no, no! Really? Wow! I can get that. I, I can get that later. That's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. I think the two oh. drying is is going to come and more become more useful. Okay. Yeah. So everyone is done. So we've done the historical event. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that actually leaves. Just move it up there. That's fine. All right. Uh, retrieve your workers, unless obviously they were out here or out here. Adjust the weather tiles. That way will. or that way? Uh, to the left. And flip that one. There we go. So the weather changes. Then uh, growth in new T. So anywhere there's a two, so in this row, you're going to add two, two, and two. But not that one. But not that one. And notice, there are no new flower bud tiles that come out. Okay, because those are what we have is what we have. Wow, a lot of oolong coming well, out. There is a lot of oolong uh, in the bag. <laughs> Proportionally. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought for a second it did this it again. Will yes, it will. And pass the first player marker. Thank you. Right. And then one, two, um, three. Remind me. Can I not use these in the middle of processing? Let I, me double check that. I think you I think can. You can, you can. Yeah. Okay. But let me double check. Oh, this whole row gets one. All right, just gotta take it out now. Thank you. Yeah. And then, hmm. Ooh. 
Yeah. I've made green tea a commodity. Hmm. Yeah, it says you can use it uh, during your turn. So okay. and it doesn't say specifically when you process the tea. Um, and Christopher can correct me if I'm wrong, but at any point when your tea is in your factory, you can then add that when you wish to. Great. Okay. This will definitely be used. Hey, soon. Gaffer Fox. Welcome. And good to hear, John. <clears throat> Appreciate it. So I think we're. Uh, yeah, so we're ready to rock and roll, right? All right, so we begin year two, so 1868. Well, first things first, um, I'm not getting any more tea right now, so let's go ahead and process some tea. So we will come all the way over to two and one. I get to dry two steps worth. And that. So I get to dry four steps worth. So, um, mm, you can't well. quite get everything that you want. Not quite. <laughs> it won't be perfect tea, but it'll be, it'll be okay. It'll be, it'll be tea. Uh, Let's sell grocery store. Well, I'll do that for two. <clears throat> I guess three. Four, and I because I move five cubes, I get two on the tech bump on that bad boy. Boom, done. I'm gonna take these two. Oh, wow, well, looky there. These two longs. And that, nope, that goes into zero. Oh, that goes into zero, thank you. For so now, these guys have a choice to make. What do you wanna do? So in player order, technically. So, okay, yep. Well, me, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So there... So because I didn't have the opportunity to use this... Oh, oh you, you... Oh. So this, there's... Does it say on your turn? It does say... On turn. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think then I don't get a chance to use it. Which is kind of a bummer, nice. but... Let me, let me... Let, <laughs> hold on. During your turn, you may use any number... Yeah, yeah. I would say no. That's fine. Then it's just becoming crap tea. <laughs> <laughs> or not crap, but, you know. Tea. Tea. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it becomes regular tea. It will become regular tea. That's fine. A yeah. moment. How can I get... I can't dry anything else, can I? There's no way I can do that. Unless you get another tech thing. Mm-mm. Even, even, there's just none. The best tea you're going to get... The only is way I, is tea. if I got that specifically. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. even then it'll only be one. The, Which is all I would need. Oh, Because right. yeah, I, I could. could. That, yeah. So I have a decision to make. Can I get that before I do that? And do I need the exceptional T? Is it worth it, is the question. Because I'd be able to get one, two, three, four flavors, six points, I think it is. So I will actually go there and I will do that. So I, I think I have a plan in place. We'll see how it works. I don't know if this works, but we'll see. All right, um, so whose turn was that? Mine. Greg. Okay. I don't like my choices. <laughs> <laughs> Greg drew, drew, drew poorly from the bag for me. Well, that was on purpose. <laughs> hey, Christopher. Welcome. Uh, so I will do this one. I'm just going to take one at one wetness, one black tea at wetness one. Hmm. I think. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go here. Take these two and get the flower as well. I assume it's my turn, right? It mm -hmm. is. Trying to see about the uh, issue with the uh, DVRing, so I will check into that when it's not my turn, guys. So bear with me. Um, okay. Uh. Had a plan, what was it, where to go, a moment. There was that, and there was that. There we go. One, that gives me two bumps, done. So I will send one of my guys, Thar, to go ahead and complete one of the... They're done. Yeah, yeah they're, the they're, they're the well, same. Actually, well, well, it matters because the... Uh, yeah, fair point. Over, yeah. you know, yep, that, thank you. <laughs> okay. So... 
this one here, and I'll go ahead and uh, bring it over here so you guys can, you know, I'll zoom that in a moment. Ooh, wrong way. There we go. So here we go. So there we go. So we have uh, Oolong. Wow, the color's off on this one tonight, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. Let's see if that, nope, that, I, I think I made it worse. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's all right. So we have Oolong tea. It requires one cube there and it was mediocre so I'm going to get one point but I get to keep the card so I will keep the card there one point running away with this thing white done um, and then this card came out did you want to use your, uh, your... Oh, I do want to use my special ability and uh, I will go there Done. And actually what I meant was, did you want to use your farmer here rather than your team master? Oh, it, yes, I did. Thank you. Yeah. My bad. Good catch. All right. Done. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm going to come here. All right, guys. Try the DVR. See if that works. See if you guys can now uh, go back to the teach. You should be able to now, I believe. Okay? Check and see and let me know. Apparently, uh, a setting got missed. I apologize on that. It happens. And you're good? Uh, yeah, I go. Oh, I do go up once on a single tech tree. What, sorry, what did you just do? I went to the ah. long market, or processor. Uh, well, the, have to, this is specifically. The, yeah, it has to be on the, yeah, the tech tree. So. Oh, yeah, so I don't have a choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so, thinking. There yes. you go. You're past that VP thing. Yeah, cool, which I'm definitely taking advantage of. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go here. Uh, one, two, three. So I will. So these will move over, and this will drop down there. And then I will install this here to get two more drops, which will be. There will be two more to there. And the question is, do I install this also? Do you install that also? You have no T. You're not going to use it anytime soon, right? If you don't, uh, you might as well yeah. is what I'm saying, yeah. right? Yeah, that's a good point. So then this, we'll move that to there. Straight flavor. Yep. Pow. Okay. All right, cool. Good. Sorry about that, guys. Glad that's working. So, Christopher, we sound high now when you come back. Welcome. Oh, that's funny. If we lost the Revolutionary War, we'd all be speaking. English. Well, we'd be speaking the Queen's English. Mm -hmm. Right, English. Oh, man. All right, good. All right. So, there's no. Way. Get, it, it, it was buy one, get one. Oh, wait. So, so I got a Lennon fog. What's up? I, uh, I process three, so I get a tech bump on this, which mm -hmm. is that, which is the, uh, sure. the delivery. Which there, you there you go. It's important. On your turn. Yep, yes. There you go. Um, okay. I think I'm going to go here. Um, so I'm going to sell this one, one for that one. Yeah, so that's three points. Yep. Three, four, gray. Yep. Into the bag of mystery. And I'm harvesting from here. For two brown. Two for two. That's a lot of black tea. That is a plethora <laughs> of black tea. Plethora of All right. So now... I will go ahead and come down here and sell to the domestic market. I'm going to sell those two mediocre tea. Oh, hey, I get a tech bump. Oh, hey, we're going to have some high quality green tea all of a sudden. That'll do. Done. Hmm. Oh, we should have um, <coughs> oh, yeah, the yeah. yep. Yes. Angry Phil. Interesting. Do you want Andrew to put his card above? Oh, oh yeah, can, right uh, there sure. if you can. Cool. That'll work. Uh, you can put you can push these out of the way. That's okay. Fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Move this up too. <laughs> I 
Real estate. I didn't want to yeah. zoom out further than I had to on this. That's all. Greg. Yes, I'm just <clears throat> trying to play a game of chicken, and that didn't work out for me last time I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, just go full speed. That's how you always put chicken. God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no consideration. Don't stop. <laughs> Never stop. Never stop. Don't stop. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to take the loss now. All right. I'm going to take those at tier one. And we're going to be pushing forward two spaces. All right. Well, congrats. You've made it to the end. Congrats. I've made it to the end. But I get to do that, which gives me two of those over to there. Some nice tea. That, mm -hmm. That'll do. <laughs> um, I think I stick to the plan. Stay on target. Stay yeah. on target. Yeah. So I'm going to come here and get two. Oh, it's too wet. That's the one thing I forgot about. <laughs> That's fine. Is it it's too fine. wet? Yeah, it's it just too wet. wet. Yeah, and um, I get two bumps. So, so right now it's regular. If I wanted to be exceptional, which is kind of what I want, you can do it. So one, two. So this is here. Hmm. Um. All right. I am gonna go here. So all of these are moving over. So it's at least five cubes, so I bump up twice on here. So I get this thing. And we are gonna use both of these here. So this drops down and this moves over to here. And you have one more from this. Um, yes, thank you. So we'll move this down too. All right. Well, I guess now's the time. We'll go ahead and do that. And this exceptional green tea with four flavorings will score me six points for white, please. Six? Yep. Done. Similar, but different. I will only get three points for black. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Right now you're the, the point judge. Right, yeah. <laughs> you would be point man. All right. Um, I will send my AT master out to here. To provide himself with an extra action this to round. <laughs> zero. Send that guy to the end. So I get the zero over. Yep. Which is there. Okay. And then gr gray, either here or there. Your choice. Yeah, I was hoping I would have time to, to think about this. Um, man, okay. So I can either make a bunch of real crap, or I'd go over there, I'd go over there. Yeah, no, that's... There. That's not exceptional. It's good. It's good. <laughs> but it could just be done and be crap. <laughs> Depends um, what you want to use it for. I think I'm okay just moving all the way over. Mm. So this all just goes over here. Oh, never mind. Sorry. That hasn't, doesn't happen yet, but it will happen. It will. Trust yes. me. <laughs> All right. Well, well, hold on. Maybe I'm not in a rush. Because <clears throat> nobody has green tea to be able to take that double green tea. One. Oh, 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 I lied. They do. Well, Greg doesn't have a worker. Uh. He does. Oh, he does. Yes, he Sorry. Does. It was blending in. <laughs> so I will go there. So I will go ahead and spend two exceptional green tea for that one for 12 points. Yeah, glory to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> 12 points for white, so that's uh, 21. And that goes back Pretty into good. the bag. And we're on the board. Oh, boy. I have got to fix those legs. We'll work on that later. <laughs> All right. So then I get to do a free harvest somewhere. What do we want? Uh, it's a whole lot of eh out there right now, isn't it? Um, I 
I think... Oh, no. I only have one worker left. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I'll be able to do half of that, I suppose. Yeah, that's worth it. Um... Well, I have no tea to process, really. I have one cube, and I'm not going to do that. And you cannot go where there's another worker, so it kind of eliminates all of that. You're not placing that worker. You're just taking, right? What? You're not placing the actual worker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, so I will, I guess, go with this. One of each? I guess so. <laughs> You know what? It's the same thing, but I think I'd rather take that. Different flavoring tile, or uh, scented tile. There we go. Take care, Luke. Australia. Take care. I think that... What I wanted was that, but I can't put another worker there. Mm-hmm. I think what I do is I take this. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want that one cube, or that one cube, or that one cube, or that one cube's not bad. That would probably be the best cube I could take. But I want to move my worker all the way to the end. Ah, there's the rub. Mm hmm. Hmm. So that says we get to move one along the step. On the oolong track specifically, yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth keeping my dude there. So I'd rather have the extra action to move around. So it's both move along this track and move along the attack track. Right, right. so everybody's right. going to advance on the tech track. I don't know. It's not worth keeping my dude on the oolong just for nothing. Okay. So I will take that, and I might as well take. Yep, one of each. One yep. of each. And just move me all the way to the end. And I will take this guy back and send this exceptional T to the warehouse. So it's three points. Well done. And these can come off. So are you guys able to follow along? Is it making sense? And also, on that note, how many of you all had not heard of this game before uh, this? So this is all just terrible. Just wretched. <laughs> Bitter. Awful. It's like the the it's like the dust, the tea dust <laughs> that was left over yes. from the processing of quality tea. Yes, the taste of ash and <laughs> sadness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, okay, I think we're looking at some oolong wanting. So, it's wet. Oh, and these should have reset also. It's wet, but it's worth it. Don't really have much of a choice, and that is, eh, it's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Checks out. Question is, do I want to start a new long process so I can benefit from that, or just do some selling? Um, I feel like I want to do the along. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do this. So it's, I'm, and I will install these two also. Okay. So I'll move these over, and I have two, three drying, uh, which is all everything but one. So that's one and three, and then it's one moving over, so it's there. Yep. So now. And you get a tech Price. bump. Yes, and that's important. Uh, I'm blue. Congrats. Two times zero is zero points. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there. <laughs> All right. Andrew, and not sure if you saw that, but uh, apparently many businessmen have made their fortunes with ash and sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, ash and sadness, <laughs> a.k.a. breakfast tea. Hmm. Yeah, I think we may as well just go here. So, sell two of these, 
to the bed. Right, and you get a tech bump. Yeah, that's what I'm wrestling with right now. Um, I think it's more important to get this thing. I like to take no more actions this round. I will go here. Which I have five of these. So that'll be two tech bumps. Um, there, and you will get this. And I'm going to put that down there with that. This over here with that. And I get one more dryness. Uh, you get one from this and then two for that. Which I already, watched, so there I already used okay. two of them. Okay. And I pass. Okay. I will pull him off. So this is just regular T. Uh, am I the only one left? Uh, passed. You're yep, passing so, now. So, pass, yeah, okay. just you. All right. And I think. Mm, okay. Don't yeah. forget if you guys are enjoying this, like down below, hit a thumb. We'd appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the bell, get reminded. <laughs> Consider supporting the show. PledgeHC.com is shown in the bottom right hand corner of the mm -hmm. screen. Definitely pledge because we're holding back on some games without that camera. Yeah. I really the the second the second stream of High Frontier will not happen until that camera <laughs> comes in, but I feel pretty good that it will happen sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. I have confidence. Oh. You know. All right, we're going down here, <sighs> and so we will sell this for that for four points. Four for gray. So this goes back in the bag, and we get a tech bump again. Uh, Or that or that. Hmm. Remember, Oolong's about to get a bump for you. Right. Um. Yeah. Sure. I've already got some Oolong cards. Let's make Oolong better for me. All right, we're done. <clears throat> so, advance the tea processing track. So, who's on here? So, we got two there. Skip this one. Here. Blue. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. Okay. Done. And Wait, um, when do we does the event happen? That right? happens afterwards. Okay. Good. Okay. Then three bumps here. Skip. Skip. Do. We. And nobody home. Nobody home. All right. Now the historical event. So 1868. I can't read it. What's it say? The establishment of the Oolong Tea Refinery. All right. So everybody that is on the Oolong track gets an advancement. And there. do I get to execute that? I yeah, I, I, yeah. You you get to do yeah. that okay. action. So Which yes. Is move those over. There we go. And then everybody gets a tech bump except for me. So in turn order. Well, so I guess we'll yep. start with me. I'll take this one and thank you. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to be this one. Uh, this one, I guess. Yeah. Okay, that's everyone. All right, so that's the historical event done. And retrieve your workers. I guess we're busy in the markets. <sighs> Adjust the weather tiles. Take it out. Oh, yeah. all right. It's very so sunny. Everything only one on each, and literally everything gets one because there's no threes out there. And then uh, pass the start player. Please draw well. <laughs> I will draw exactly what I need to. <laughs> I don't mind that. Okay. I assume those were there. Yeah. And one more for the top one. These aren't the worst. How about... How about... And no. Okay. No. All right. Hmm. Round three. Penultimate round. Hmm. Uh, there's no way to convert those into anything useful. Wait a second, I was not supposed to take pick him up. 
Oh, no. That was probably not good. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Hmm. Yeah, we've got to do that. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, just wait for that. So for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Okay. So discard this. Yeah, that one. Yeah. For so 18 points. Uh, that seems Ooh, good. Or black. For black. Uh, uh, to the left. To the left. Yeah. yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 18. Welcome to the game. Okay. And that wasn't even really an action. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Screw it. Domestic market. <clears throat> These two. And you are black. Yep. And you get a tech bump. And I think that the best option is this one. All right. Uh, can you can harvest over here. So I get these at level one and this scented tile. Mm. Oh, and this moves to the end. Important. <laughs> <laughs> Says you. <laughs> oh man. Um. Hmm. I think I'll go here and get these and the flower. Thank you. And that was one. One. Yep. All right, we will process the oolong. So there, there, I will attach both of these. So two drying will go one, two. Then I get to move one over there, and I will drop that down with that one there. Done. Take care, Chip. Have fun. Hmm. Yes. What you thinking? Lots of things. <laughs> you want to share any of it? Uh, no, I think I'm just going to have to go for it because I need to get my guy out of there. Um, it's just a matter of which flavor do I think is the best flavor. Because I don't want to get stuck with too much of something I'm not going to process. Right. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Take all of that, and that's at zero. Goes to the end, and that's my turn. This is you. There you go. Okay. And then I will uh, process, uh, finish processing my tea, uh, as oolong, three which points. is three points. And I have some some fine oolong tea. Oh, good call. I processed three here. Right, that was that was that ah, was a plan. Yes. When I did this, oh, I yeah, should have moved sure. along there, yeah. which that then gives me a tech bump. Yeah, I think I have to. Good call. Thank you, yeah. Eric. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, we'll go here. Grab this. So these are at zero. Um, and this moves up two spaces. Or all the way. No, it will not move all the way. It'll move there, and it does nothing. Yet. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh right. <laughs> um, you gotta get that good stuff. I cannot see a reason to not do this. Ah, glory to Rome. <laughs> and we're off. All right. So there's that, and those will go to zero. And we're at two. 
Greg, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna take my guy back. And they are all, it's, it's T. Okay, T. It's T. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, so I guess I will do this. If you did that, I will do this. And take this guy. So it's one yeah. and two. So those are going to the bag. Yep, and that looks like 14, 14 to me. So two, two, and 12 to 22. And um, what else did I need to do? Oh, that was it, okay. Slide. Oh, the other thing was the uh, the tech bump. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. the other thing. Go and refill that. Card. Which Press will be, yeah, it's going to continue to push this. So I need that tile. Thank you. One of these came out a while ago. Oh yeah, this is. Greg wasn't joking when he said most of the glory of Rome come from him. <laughs> I. I <laughs> did you spell that? Uh, <laughs> I just thought it'd be more from that side of the table, and <laughs> not... Yeah, I see what Jess is saying when playing to the left of you. <laughs> mm. And it's not like I'm doing it intentionally to you, right? No, no. It, it's just, <laughs> I'm playing my game, and... And I happen to be next. Right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go here, um, and sell, I think, two of these for this one. For the mediocre? Yeah, but so I won't get the card because no. it's oh, crappy. It's crappy. Oh, so that. six points six for six gray. Points. So to 15. Okay. Back, mm, you know. And I get to harvest from one place. Yeah, mediocrity. Oh, to yes. be here. Yeah. Mm. And that's uh, zero. <laughs> um right I can't do that because of that okay uh Okay, so I have a guy up at the top. I really want to be able to take two green, but there's no gr two green out there, which is really unfortunate. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I do actually take him one green. It just feels so wasteful to do that, right? Mm hmm All right, let's just go ahead and process some green tea. There. And a green bump. Tech bump. Thank you. I am white. Yeah, I think I find that's the easiest thing to forget. And that. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and install it. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Yep. And I think... I think I'm gonna have to do this. Gonna get rid of these two. Okay, T's for four points for yeah for that one. Thank you. Four for you are black. Black two four. And I'm gonna harvest these two, but more importantly, that one. And here, let me move nobody along. All right. Oh wait, you went there. Never mind. Bad joke because it doesn't apply. Try. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'll go to the domestic market and sell two very bad <laughs> black tea. So I got three, uh, two bumps, right? Which gets me the uh, ship. Another one of those. Bear back. Is that good? 
<laughs> I need to know if that's good. <laughs> um, we're gonna use this to move this over here. And that's it. And we wait. And we wait. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting. The timing is is throwing me a little bit with the uh, coordinating when when other people put. But I, you know, you want to have guys out here. When people going here. Yeah. And I've not been able to line that up in this round. Yeah. I am feeling like I do not have enough people to do everything I want to do all the time. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure out, because I know what the next thing I need to do is. Do I stay on target, or do I do something else that will... Yeah, help? I feel like I have one thing I really want to do, but I think I have to focus all my effort on that and nothing else, and that's annoying. Because <laughs> right. if I do the, if I sidetrack, it's not bad for me to mm -hmm. do. In the long run, I think it'll end up getting me more points. But the other thing will take more time to do, and if I don't start it now, yeah. I don't know if I'll finish it. Time. <laughs> <laughs> but also, this round I started with three actions, and it's terrible. <laughs> so I think I don't want to set myself up in that same exact position. Yeah. It's interesting. The uh, only at the very beginning, when in terms of refills and uh, for each round, did we ever have anything with three of the same? Right. We had was it one yeah. or two? Only one or two of these spaces at the two. beginning. Those two had had identical cubes, mm -hmm. three cubes. But uh, since then, we haven't. And I noticed the last time we played, we didn't touch this, and now we're like, yeah. You know, what I forgot. Tech bump. Tech bump. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh, Greg's Tea Room GTR. Got it. Oh. <laughs> hey, Joe. Alright, so, uh, you guys obviously didn't move, or there or there. No. I don't no. know what you people are doing. So it, it's, it is interesting, you don't get more workers, but you do get more actions. actions. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's... Yeah, you can kind of time that out to do more stuff, but... If, if you don't, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on, right? Okay. Okay. I know what I want to do, I just don't know. Yes, I do. We'll go here. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Right? I think that's what I want to do. Let me double check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Simplifies my choices. Uh, yes, I do. I will go there. Cool. So then I bump there. Those. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Wrong thing. There we go. Mm -hmm. A lot of orange. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm done with that. And then here, three bumps or... Yeah. All the way. And I'll do all three, so these two go over here. Keith, damn power of suggestion. I was painting minis. Now I'm drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> I think. Okay. Greg? Mm. I could do that. I don't think that that's the right call, though. Which is what? So if I go there... The, wait, where is there? Oh, sorry, okay. here. Yeah. At the end of the turn, it's going to end up over there because of the nature Correct. of Correct. It'll um, end up here. Right, right well, yeah, yeah. 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 And because of what I have in my toolkit, I can make three perfect T's. Okay. Is that worth the three points? What do I do with that perfect T afterwards? Or do I just wait for next round? And do I just spend my worker, go here, sell some tea, get a tech bump now, and potentially have a better round next round with four workers available instead of just three. Oh, choices. Like, this might be short-sighted, but I think... 
that helps me more in the long run. I'm going to take this one. Uh, no, I'm going to take the top one. Two points for black. Two points. For your crappy tea. A mediocre tea, Medi not crappy. Yeah, Sorry. The acceptable tea. <laughs> and we're going to do a tech bump. Ooh, this is rough. I think we're going to do a tech bump on the oolong. I think that's the right call. Okay. And you are black. Yep. Yep. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to do this. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm happier now. <laughs> Glory to Rome. <laughs> that one's not to, to anyone else but me. <laughs> had you done that type thing, right? If I had gone here, that's a different game. Uh, pass, because I have nobody left. I will not, however. Yeah. I will fix the legs at some point. Um, pull that back, and that is exceptional. And three point exceptional. Three points. There we go. Done. You pass? I cannot. I'm out. Yeah, I think it's just you. Just me. Okay. Um, oh, well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> oh, wow, I just realized. Uh, okay. What do we do, though? Okay, green all the way to the end. There we go. So I will go to there. It's kind of forcing my hand in, in, as to what I do. Three, one, two, three, which nothing, nothing there. And then my turn again. I'll process. That is three points of exceptional T for white. So now. Yep. I will go ahead and spend this. The far, yep, that'll be the one. So, exceptional T, so that'll be two green and a new long for 17 points. For white, please. Uh, so, 30, 44. And for our last magic trick, uh, I can take t up to two. I will, well, I guess we could sell some. Okay, it's really hard to sell to the domestic market when all you have is exceptional tea because it doesn't care about the quality of the tea. Um, but I have no, I have no black tea. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm not doing is going to any of those. So if I'm not doing that and I'm not processing, that means I'm taking tea for my last worker. So I can take up to two cubes. I might as well take, say, this and get one of each. Which gets you three and three. Three and three. And I'll go ahead and take that as well. These don't get me anything unless I do scented tea with it. With, I, it's really hard to do scented tea when you're making high quality tea. So there we go. We're done with the round. So advance the tea processing. So whoop, done, done, done. Uh, 1903, what do we have? Everybody gets a tech bump. Well, well, what is it first? Oh, sorry. The establishment of the of T Research Center. All right. So everybody gets a tech bump of their choice. So in turn order, starting with Greg. I will take this one. Which that will give you that, sir. Uh, I will take this one. Oh, oh that's not me. I am blue. <laughs> and you're here? Yeah. Greg? Yeah. And I will go here as well. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'm white. What do I want? Um, you want your green? Card I don't know if card. I want that necessarily, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be the most important thing for me. Yeah. So we will go there. All right. Then at the end of the game, all of our tech bumps divided by two get us points. Yep. So we'll, we'll just keep that there, but remove the turn marker. So there. Uh, retrieve your workers, y'all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And replenish. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is going to be wow. slim pickings. <clears throat> and then 
There we go, first player marker, done. Final round. Skip that since it already had three. Yep. Making easy choices for everyone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me go there. Black T. Black T level one. I'll install this to push two down and then this to this to push one over. Oh, and these get cleared. Okay. Um, oh, and did you do the... <clears throat> oh, tech bump. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That That's important. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use this to push this cube over to flavor and then pull him off. So these are exceptional. There's four of them. They're all flavored, so that's six points. Well done. Six four points. for gray, or six, sorry, for gray, sorry. Um... Let's process a T, I think. So we will go ahead. Do we do? No, we don't. Right, obviously not. Um, let's go ahead and start here. So it's going to be a tech bump there for Whoa. the oolong. There and there. And I get one of drying, which. I'm not going to take, but instead I'm going to install that and just go there and there. Done. Uh, I got the tech bump. I'm done. Shoot. Sir? What? Do you mind if I undo something real quick? What's the what would you do? Red, not put this in here. Oh, I think that's fine. Yeah, I, I, don't, yeah. Have, I don't have a that, problem. I'd rather sure. have them there. That's fine. Sure. Yeah. I, I have yeah. no qualms. Yeah, with that. I'm qualmless. Okay. <laughs> I calculated. I, ah. I was. I missed. I misread right. what that was. Yeah, it's weird that misread uh, what one? What this one? I thought. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, yeah. my question with this. Okay. Oh, we have sent a T finally. Since okay. I'm technically processing five T, do I get double bump? Do I get any tech bump? Oh, good call. Okay, for the scented tea. Yeah. Uh, uh. Sorry, what are you? Is, no. I think this is only. No, this is only about moving stuff into your factories. I believe so, yeah. right? Yeah, because right. You, bo you don't get to double process. You get a bump when you finish the scented tea. Yes. Tea. Got it. That would be too much. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I guess that's my turn. Okay. Okay, and then I need to. Yeah, no, that's it. it. Correct. It's only at the end do you get anything. You get nothing right now. You get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. Well, all right. It is. Two. This is what it is. And then. Okay. All right. So I will uh, go to the domestic market down there. What is that? Uh, sell these two average oolong. Two. One. There, so you get both of these. Which I'm going to use that immediately. Okay, so here, walk people through it since it's the first time people have seen this. So one. this is move one space on this track and then execute it twice. Okay. So execute this twice, which is why I didn't want to push that down. That makes sense. <coughs> right, so yeah. all that, there you go, and that gets and discarded. Then it goes there, and then, um, and then I get a tech bump over there. Is there. This green, that green track is just, uh, there's no point in even considering it. It's going to do that. Hmm. All right. We're going to go down here. This feels like kind of a waste, but stakes are made. Oh! Uh, I mean, I got these things. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, all four of these are going to become scented. Wow. Okay. Um, and then and you then, get to add one right. scent. There you go. Yep. There. All right. How greedy do we get? Mistakes are made. <laughs> I don't think we do. I think I wasted that somewhat. We could do that, though. That would be better, but that doesn't help me. Um, a moment. 
Yeah, I have to. Uh, we will take one of my farmers. Let me double check. Yep. We'll go here. It's painful, but I will sell two really high quality domestic green tea mm -hmm. to be able to get two bumps here. Mm. Which gives me that. Which I will then immediately spend two green tea and one oolong for that one. And that'll be 16 points for white. So one, six, ten, done. Refill, please. Oh, this is, this refilling has not been working out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have looked at, I should, I need to look at the deck and see. I, I have no idea what the yeah. distribution is. No, yeah. I uh, no idea. So, uh, Greg, you're up. Ugh, I don't want to do the obvious one, but I don't feel like I have much Matt of a choice. Matt and are on fire tonight with the puns. I think I'm going to come here and at the very least block the black tea from being picked up. Okay, so then yeah. both of these can either advance one or all the way to the end. Glory to Greg. <laughs> 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 these are just worthless. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm really glad that I'm not the only one doing it now. God. Uh, I'm going to move one and grab that. Um, I'll move one as well. Put yeah. this down. Oh. <laughs> Shrey? I'm glad I made you happy. <laughs> Someone had to tonight. Uh, I'm going to pull some. Uh, which tea? Which? I think the tea is irrelevant. <coughs> what with the cubes I take is ir irrelevant because I'm not going to process them. But might as well take the take this. That is Zoom all bone dry. That, and okay. then to the end. I just need to get my guy to the end. Mm -hmm. mm. Nobody's going to help me on that. Um, hmm. I don't, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel bad, but I also <laughs> don't feel bad. Uh, I don't think you feel that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me think. No, no, no it's not about it. Um, those cubes are just worthless to me. Uh, but I need to put a worker down there. Hmm. It's a lot of points. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice on this, so I may as well just, does it matter which color? Not really. No, I'm just go here and take this. Thing. Yeah, because yeah, I realized I couldn't take it because uh, I didn't have enough room. Right. I'm going to assume that. Yeah. Well, so that you guys can add your well, third and set. It's twice, yeah. Oh, it is twice. I apologize. You're right. So, so yeah. It's a collaboration. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It was. Okay. Mm. This is a remix. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I get it. Th no, that's oh, right. it. Yes. No, yeah. Thank you. Um. Ugh. I don't think that matters in the least, does it? Let me see. I got that. I do want that, which I can't seem to get. Okay, I guess maybe. Uh. So that'll go to the one there, and this guy will go there. There. Bringing these here. And any of your yellow tiles? I'll have to choose right now. Well, you don't have, you to. Don't have to, but. Oh, I'm going to use these two. And just boop. Okay. <laughs> Easy enough. All right. <laughs> and uh, this goes up one. Yep. I, th I think it's boop. <laughs> 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 right level there. I mean, yeah. Um. I think that's the right call over that. Let me double check. So I could give this up. 
that. Yeah, not know what's going to come out. I think this is the better call. So, which of those do I want to go to? I'm going to get a tech bump there, a tech bump there. So, I'm not on any tracks. I'm I don't I'm not going to process any more T. So, I'm going to do this one. And sell this single uh, is there one I want to move along more? Yeah, this one's fine. For how many? Five points. Five for blue. And um, and I get a tech bump, which is this. Which I don't think is going to matter for um, for the points right. of, on, on Oolong, because it seems like I'm going to sell that. But it does matter for uh, end of game scoring on this. Mm -hmm. Andrew? Uh, if I sell on the global market and harvest, can I harvest somewhere where a worker is? Nope. No. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's standard just... standard rule on that. God, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> that was a it was a someone actually asked that on, <clears throat> B, on BGG um, yesterday, and uh, was replied this morning. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I gotta do this eventually, so let's we'll do that out of the way. All right, so here comes a bunch of points. So four. Four times six. Yep. Is 24. And One, I, two, three, four, and 20 is 45. And well I move done. up on this track. One space. And those are out of game, and the cubes. Well done. Okay, so. going to have to happen eventually anyways. That's going to be uh, exceptional T three points for white. Done. I'm going to come, doesn't matter. Take that there. All at the end. Yep. Shrey? Uh, I have to pull this person off and uh, move this over so it's exceptional three points for blue, so 30. And I don't need to worry about it yet. Mm -hmm. Andrew, who has three workers left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's... Okay, do I want a tech bump or do I want a harvest? Um... Harvesting gives me more of that, which I guess I need. So, yeah, we'll go down here. Um, sell this for this one. And what kind of tea was it? Uh, green. Oh, uh, exceptional? That was a uh, regular. So okay, just so four, four points. points for gray. Okay. And we'll take these two. Ooh, that's uh, yummy. Uh, oh, well, I'll just grab that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll use this to grab the 14.1, yeah. uh, but yeah, I don't 14, get the card yeah. because it's... So 14 points for yeah. one in terrible tea, so I don't get the card, don't get the card. I'm okay, fine with that. Go. There you go. Well done. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're going to spend <clears throat> it on something. Why not? Yep. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I've heard that before. Yeah. Oh, whew. all right. There, to process these, there, and there, those are free. So let's see, we will go, we get one free drying there, then I will do Moment, let me figure that out. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, 
That'll be two and then two. There. And because I moved four, that's a tech bump on this, although I don't think it really matters. Done. I'm going to pull this guy off. As you do. Which gets me three points because it's all. Three, four, black. 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 Guapity. Done. And uh. these come off. That's the important part. Oh yeah, this is a 90 to 120 minute game. Mara. Hi Mara. Um, or what's 15 plus seven? Hmm. I think it's better to do it that. Oh, this is. Yeah. Yeah, my lack of green cubes, my lack of green green tea is uh is hurting me a bit. What you thinking? I'm thinking it's the same amount of points either way, I think. So So we will just do this then. So we'll we'll go over to the domestic. It can uh, Can you? Yeah, I thought I thought so. I thought you could go to the domestic as much as you want. A moment. Uh Double checking. It's just a global market you can't double dip. Yeah, I thought it was just because it has that thing there, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the, uh... Honestly, it doesn't say, so I would. Ar oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's global market specifically for yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. So, my bad. Yeah, you can. Go ahead. So, I will sell these for two bumps, which gets me a tech, which. Might as well just be that. And I get that, so I'll just return that to uh, sell these. To which one? For this one. And was it what quality T? It's, it was uh, excellent. Okay, so 15, 15 for blue. Yeah, nice. 45. Well and done. That's my game. <clears throat> All right. Done. Overall, not bad. All right. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to process I, some. I would be complaining. So ones and zeros. Um, ending there's gonna dry yeah. one using that we're going to put this in here to turn this to flavor and this in here to turn these two to the flavor okay doesn't matter yeah why not literally doesn't matter but it looks pretty <coughs> so there Boop. that's all that mattered mm -hmm. And these go here, here, here. Um, that's a one dry. It is. I'll use it. Okay. And then I will use these. And that'll bump you up too. And to here. Yep, which is really the only thing I wanted. Um, sure, you're done, I'm, right? I pass, yeah. All right, well, this guy's just going to go out to do basically nothing. <laughs> Um, well, he pushes everybody. He pushes every, yeah. I'm going to assume that that's the yeah. case, which you guys wanted. <laughs> yeah, because I still end up with quality tea. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so I will remove this guy from there, and I have high quality, although I get no points because only two of them. So. Done. I get three points. Three for black. black. Mm -hmm. Done. And I also will get three points. And three for gray. I 
will go there. The tech bump will be that. I will take that card there for 12, for three of those. So 12, one, two, to 75. And we've made it through the entire deck of cards. So you've now seen all the cards. Hmm. I can't sell there anymore. Hey, hey, hold on one second, if we can. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, so, hold on. Come oh. on. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right. So, actually, Brian, or no, I guess Jimmy. So, Brian, one and the same. Cheers. 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 Thank you for the support. That much closer. Five away. <laughs> Oh, five away. All yes. right. So that's some cold tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the domestic. Uh, these two orange cubes. You are black. Should they're be. there, which then allows you to sell immediately. And just put it right back in the thing. I'm going to take this for 20 points. 24 black. Five, 10, 15. Many. <sighs> and Andrew, bring it home. It's so aggravating. Nope. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Yep, yep, yep. Um... I can't get that card. It would be so many points if I get that card, but I can't get that card. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, because I could get a ship, but I have to sell a domestic marker, which would mean I only have two cubes to sell, so... Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Um, in which Ooh. case... Wow, and it's three oolong. Oh, my. Yeah, that would have been real good. Um, yep. Should have saved that ship. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Mm, okay. So in that case, I could just do domestic and get. I did not realize points. that they. Is that the later ones? The, all the tier three ones have multiples. This one has two on it. Why does it have two? Because it's a tier three. Oh, does that mean that it's multiply? <clears throat> it it's counts as three. Yeah. yeah. I did not realize that. Oh yeah, I figured that was implied. Like. <laughs> You but get you get however many points based on how many leaves up there. Right. Yeah, it makes I, sense. Right. I, my apologies. How many I, how many tier threes are even out though? Yeah, there's only like four in the deck. Yeah, there's not many. Yeah. Oh, I'm so upset. All right. Um, this is the only thing I can do. So we're gonna sell two of these. And you are gray. Yeah. Oh, now you can. S oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yep. So can you sell anything? No. Nothing no. that requires just oh, oolong. Yeah. That's gross. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to take this. And uh, that's five times five. 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 Mm -hmm. So that'd be 25 to 80? Yep. And I still technically have one more turn, don't I? But what do I do? Uh, the hokey pokey. Literally, it. Uh, you, I can't do anything, so I won't. You cannot. Well, go. Yeah, because you can't sell that because you can't get that. Yep. So. I'll sell you one of my excess for there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah. done, done, yeah. done, done. So, we do uh, now advance, but there's nobody left on the tracks. Oh, I got to go up a track because uh, of that. You do, yeah. yes. And you are black. But... Do you have any brown? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, it literally doesn't matter? Yeah. Oh, it does, it does matter because of that. A step. That's yeah, so, yeah. But yeah. It way, doesn't matter which, which, which one. Which move. Yeah. No. Um, so, the historical event. 1964. What is it? Introduction and, and localization? Local. Yeah. Of uh, Yabukita green tea. Yes. Which says, whoever has the most green tea leave... Uh, here, complete five points. I have three, one, zero, zero, two. All right, we so five the, points. Ran the whole gamut. There we go. So we go into final scoring. The rest of it doesn't matter as far as anything else. So victory points from the domestic market. Blue gets 22, 5, 10, 15, 20, 2. Everyone not named Blue gets 8. There. Okay. Then, victory points from Merchant Card Rewards on the Tech Tracks. So we'll start with Oolong. Everybody gets bumps for Oolong. So they are five points apiece. So, ten for gray. Which puts you at 84. Mm -hmm. Ten for white. 
97. 15 yeah. for black. So one or uh, five more than me. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. You can put your 100 out there. And gray gets. Oh, yeah, you got you. Sorry, I, I, have, I have zero. None. Okay. Then this track. So blue gets six. So 18. 18. 18. So one, two, 85. three. 85. Five. And I would get three. Zero. Then here, black will get four for each of those. So that's another eight. Another eight, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, two, seven, eight. And it is 12 for white. And then for end game points for any of these, which there's that, so add up here. So black is getting five, eight, and seven is 15. So divide that by two, that'd be seven. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven. Uh, then white is getting seven, 11, 15, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Blue gets seven, 14, fit seven. And gray is getting seven, 10, 13, six. And there we have it. <coughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't laugh. No. Greg wins 118. Angry Teacher has 117. <laughs> Shrey at 92 and the first time player, 90. So there you go. All right. All right, so we'll start on that side of the table. For most of the what do you think? Uh, it's really cool. I really enjoy, it's not difficult mechanically, but there's a lot, the interlocking stuff of like playing out when you put someone in processing versus farming is really interesting. Um, I really enjoy it and definitely want to play it again and have a better showing. <laughs> it wasn't a poor showing, right? <laughs> it really place. wasn't bad, but it still wasn't bad. It wasn't like you got lapped. No, that's then, true. Then, you know, we're like 44 points in Trias Magistus. I expect better from myself. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Sher? I, I really like it. It's it's mechanically very interesting. The timing is is super, like, super interesting. It, uh, I, there's mistakes I made <laughs> completely mistakes I made, uh, uh, but but I really enjoy I really enjoy the uh, the processing that the, it, there there's a uh, it reminds oh doesn't remind me of the game but but um, uh, but Urban Sprawl which is a game I really enjoy not because I find it I think it's 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 like amazing in terms of like like how how it like how um, how the game. Like how you uh, the, how you get to uh, like how the game manages the the players, but how um, the mechanically it works. Okay. And I find this is this is kind of like that. Like I love the mechanics of how this works and how your T comes across the board, and um, and that's what I like about it. Um, mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, all right. Go ahead, Greg, and I'll piggyback kind of what you said though here in a minute. Go ahead. So I, I think that the timing is definitely a key factor in what makes the game pace enjoyable because without the weird timing that goes into processing and putting stuff in um, it just become it would just be a worker placement game where you just do a thing pull a lever um, but the fact that there's this weird cooperation aspect where you don't want to help but I need it too so I'm gonna help um, it, it becomes really more than the sum of its parts. I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. And the timing aspect, there's also a, a balance aspect of not just when do I go here versus here, but if I go here earlier, there's a better chance that somebody will come out here and bump me along. But I'm doing that sacrificing possibly ideal uh, harvesting of tea out here as opposed to um, going here early to get those free bumps. So it's it, it's... To me, that's the most interesting uh, teeter-totter, give-and-take, mm -hmm. you know, push-pull type thing of which is more important to me right now. And then trying to figure out how to, oh, I really desperately need that one bump, 
on this tech track. So how do I go about doing that? Do I do I focus on go ahead and try and get a tech bump from the domestic market, or can I do I have enough tea? I only have three or four. Do I waste an action to get a fifth to be able to get another tech bump? And it's it's definitely tough decisions. They're not hard decisions, but they're tough. Yeah. Hard being it's not complex. It's just you don't want to sacrifice the things that you would have to sacrifice yeah. to do the things you want to do, which to me is the hallmark of a good game. And I really, really enjoy this. Plus, I think the theme is brought through very well. Mm -hmm. Because one thing that I do want to point out, and I didn't really mention this during the teach, is there are a lot of steps in the in the processing of tea just in real life and these are actually the steps so the withering the fixation the rolling the drying um oxidation depending on the type of tea and everything else and the the when do you stop the oxidation of all of these it's it's fascinating to me as a as somebody who really enjoys drinking tea um it's more than just flavored water, right? So, yeah, I, I think it's fascinating. I didn't know the difference between flavoring versus scenting, mm -hmm. but this game inspired me to want to go, and I did more reading than I ever thought I would on <laughs> Wikipedia and other websites, just reading about the process yeah. of tea. I, I'll be honest, I thought it was, not kidding, I thought it was simple as pick it off and dry it. Thought that was it. Nope. nope. <laughs> There's a lot of steps depending yeah. on uh, depending on the type of tea. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right about the theme. It, it's it is often a lot of games you just play and you're 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 pushing buttons, you're moving cubes around here, and you're completely absent of any sort of theme. You might see a little bit here and there. It might see be a card that has some interesting art, but doesn't really make you think about the theme. This is everything about this. Like this is you're setting up a processing uh, engine for like your like making different kinds of tea and it really shines through and that's unusual in you know many like just not, not most a common euros game. for yeah. sure and I, I do like one of the uh, thematic tie-ins that I, I think is interesting I'm not sure if this is their intention but the fact that on the merchant cards if you sell them crap tea they'll sell it they'll find a way to push it but you've lost that connection because you just gave them yeah. subpar tea <laughs> they'll, yeah, exactly. They'll right. buy it from you, but you've burnt that bridge with them specifically, yeah. right? Your reputation suffers. Right, yeah. it does. And I, I think that's, it's subtle, yeah. but I think that's a really good, really good, interesting way of the theme yeah. coming through as well. I think my favorite thing is the idea, like, the idea when you start processing, you have the decision in front of you of like, I could take my time with this and make some really good stuff. But maybe I just want to shovel this thing out the door and like get it going and like sell it in the local market. Cause they'll eat, they'll drink anything. We find <laughs> <laughs> it's that caffeine boost. That's all they want. That's all they care about. So yeah, um, this was really high on my anticipation list, uh, partially because of the theme. Um, and I gotta say, it's lived up to it. Is it ZOMG amazing? This is you know a top ten game for me. No, it's not. Um, is it a really good game at what it does? Yeah. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Is it a game that uh, I would say, hey, do you want to play this again? Yeah, it is. Is it something that is going to be, I'm going to be clamoring to play at this point? I've played it now three or four times. No, but I would happily play it again. I definitely want to play it again, uh, but with the characters. So yeah, why don't we, uh, and, and keep talking about, uh, so uh, Andrew, you said you already do want to, Oh, right? totally. I mean, yes, I've only played it once, so I'm, I'm probably still in that stage of like, oh, I want to figure this out, and like, uh, but I, I think there's just a lot of really interesting, like the fact, the player interaction in this makes it more than just a standard worker placement, right? So that's why I think it just shines for me. Like, it just is a thing where you can plan as much as you want, but you also have to kind of anticipate what other people are doing. So, like, I would definitely uh, play this, and you know, as soon as possible. Trey? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, the same. It's, uh, I, I, I definitely, I, I just, I, like I said, I see them, see them, at least two mistakes I made, <laughs> <laughs> and and want to see if I can correct those. Uh, in, in the next play, and, and this is in our first in the first play where we were struggling with the rules a bit. You know, we were we were a bunch behind um, because we were you know we're making mistakes uh, on right. the rules. And and the game we played a few days ago, you 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 were up in this range, 
um, I think. Yeah, I, I and, just eclipsed a hundred yeah. or so. Yeah, and and I and I see that that like we're getting better at at at, at yes. understanding how to work the system, and uh, and now and now like understanding the interaction is is where I think a lot of points are are to be had. Like I agree. And one other thing on that note is I'm really curious. I got all these flower pods and didn't use a single one of them. Yeah. I wonder if I could have done a better job if I could have found a way to I mean, yeah, you ended second place by one point, but you also ended with five T in your cupboard. I did. Yeah, oh yeah, that's which true. that is that is really frustrating. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. five excellent T I didn't do anything with. And I won with Nothing left. Right. Yep. So. Yeah. So, Mike. So you had. You had. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So you had two two people in the uh, harvesting right. this turn. Uh, were they there to push your people along? Were they there? Yes. Yeah. Both of them were right. to push guys yeah. along here. And that right? that feels that feels inefficient on the fourth turn, right? So. Agreed. <laughs> um, so there's definitely room for improvement, yeah. right? Um, so that's that's a good thing, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to show everybody, we were talking about the advanced game. So we played just standard. We randomly drew two cubes out for each of us. But in the advanced game, there are these characters here, as well as one more that didn't fit on screen. But there you go. So uh, John Dodd um, right there. Uh, so that was one of the events on this, but we have actually, there's a little historical bit on all of these, and they all have different asymmetric kind of things, like here, whenever you harvest, you get an extra uh, cube type thing, or at the start, you get a bump on the black tea. And um, I think that's, you get every time you get to advance one extra, with uh, Arai Kokichiro. Yeah, yeah, that's what that is. Um, so yeah, they're all different asymmetric starts, but they do kind of, I don't want to say put you on rails, but definitely want you to focus on very specific goals, um, depending on how all of these things play out. So do I think these have legs? Yes. Do I think they're needed? No, but I would be interested in playing them for sure. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so yeah, the game definitely has more legs, and I'm three plays into it. I think it's got at least probably another five, six plays in it for me if I wanted to, if we weren't churning through mm. being on the show. Um, yeah, so overall, um, well done. So again, a big thank you to Smooks over at TBD at Taiwan Board Game Design uh, and to So -So, De uh, so So Studio for giving us the review copy of this at Spiel so we could bring it to y'all. Um, a big thank you to these fellas for coming in to play this tonight, although it, it's a tough life. They have to come and play games. How so horrible. Right. It's, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> what was us? Right. <laughs> and a big thank you to everybody that watched, uh, both live as well as after the fact. Really appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, again, like, subscribe, do all that. You want to help us, uh, help the show, and get towards 800 patrons, would appreciate it. But you also get benefits. You get access to the Slack channel, teaching notes, and other uh, special perks for being a patron of Heavy Cardboard. You can go to pledgehc.com to do so. So we'll be back uh, tomorrow night. I'm not sure exactly who, outside of the two of us, for the Magnificent. We will find out whether or not it is Magnificent or just a fine dice drafting game. <laughs> you will have to join us tomorrow to find out. So that said, uh, yeah, we'll catch you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm Edward. I'm Greg. Shrey. Andrew. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 One point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your fault. <laughs> I, I, yeah, apparently it is, because I had way too much tea left over <laughs> and all those flower pods and... So much potential. Oh. <laughs> so frustrating. Good game. Good game. Yeah. Even with Jess here, I still can't win. <laughs> <laughs>